and all I can say is wow. These fit freaking perfect. Look at the difference. All right guys, we are finally getting the exhaust on this RT Durango. We have a uh, JBA stainless system going on and uh, right now it's just, it's just too quiet. We're gonna uh, floor it from 60 real quick. You know, it has some rumble, but I'm definitely craving more. I wanted to do a full uh, suitcase delete, the middle resonator uh, with the axle box, but uh, this is my wife's vehicle, so. She didn't want that. So on the way to my shop, we're gonna get on the lift, do a few sound clips with the stock exhaust, and do a good comparison video on this RT Durango. There's the box that took mm, better part of two months to come in, and then it's out of my garage for two more months, so can't really complain. But everything is built to order right now, so just a heads up. If you want these, I don't know how it is now, but it was a bit of a wait. Also, this is, does not say 21 on here, so fingers crossed. We'll figure out together if she'll fit. Very quick unboxing. But these cans are actually a little smaller than I thought they were going to be, which I'm happy about. I thought there was going to be a full-size can, and uh, that is tiny, so that's good. Let's see. Let's take this off. Let's get this off and see if it's a flow-through. So these actually are a flow-through design, which I'm happy about. My wife might not be, but I think it's going to be good. Fingers crossed. These cans, again, pretty small. Uh, but it's probably what it needs because the suitcase muffler underneath is really what's taking all the hit and these are just smoothing out the sound at the end so tips are really nice definitely a big improvement um they're dual wall kind of strange how they're open in the rear and not tapered in but that's okay you'll never see that welds are good hopefully the hangers are in the right place overall for the price built really well so let's get this thing in the air and take off the factory mufflers and get these mounted on. And let's just do one quick measurement here. So it's a four inch tip versus a, let's see, three and a half. It's kind of hard to see because it's, there we go. And then underneath this, you see the size of our muffler. I would say it's the new JBAs are probably a third to the quarter of the size. So that's gonna be good. And here is the suitcase that everyone refers to. It's really where a lot of the muffling happens. I'm gonna keep it for now, for the sake of my wife and kids. Well, my kids will probably love it. And if it's too quiet or it doesn't sound good, then maybe this has to go and it will rip. Probably have to do an X-pipe or something here to tone it down but we'll figure it out but let's get these old mufflers off first thing we're going to do is put a little wd-40 on these they actually look rust free 5,000 miles but still put a little penetrating oil just helps them come off and i'm gonna spray a little bit of lube you can't see it but there's a hanger up here and that way we can shimmy this muffler out so let's get it started Fifteen millimeter. And this is always the fun part, is getting these hangers off. Let's
Okay, so wow, maybe these are like a sixth of the size <laughs> than these right here. And overall, man, just the tips alone, it's gonna look so good. And this is, I really think this is, gonna be, this is gonna be what it needs. This is what it should probably come with the factory for an RT. Something just a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the hangers seem to be in the same place-ish, so hopefully that lines up. Uh, this kit does include the hardware and gasket for this right here because these are pressed in, so you're not going to reuse those. Let's get this side on, uh, driver's side, and see how she fits. It's good. All right, it will fit a 21. Let's just put our. Uh, let's see if we can hang it here. Just an extra set of hands wouldn't hurt here as well. Let's put our gasket in, and then we'll drop. These are these are lock nuts. See that right there. These are mechanical lock nuts. Very good, JBA. Very good. Let's put them on hand tight for now. And this hardware is also 14 millimeter, not 15. Factory is 15. The new hardware is 14. So we're going to snug it up. There is some adjustment for these tips. We're just going to snug it up just enough to get it in the right position. And then we'll move on to the other side. When that muffler is on, then we'll do our final fitment, which I'll have to have somebody behind the vehicle looking to make sure they're true and straight and uh, so far so good and all I can say is wow these fit freaking perfect. Look at the difference. I mean, night and day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fitment. It was, it was really bad with the SRT uh, rear fascia back here. This is what you need. So these were, I think, $400 worth every penny. Okay, now I'm off to the store for real time. So now referring to the instructions, you can see here, passenger side has a little more fun to it. Have your hanger, you have a nice clamp. And for whatever reason, Dodge decided to not put a bolt-on flange, even though this is probably one of many very modded vehicles and they knew this would happen and they didn't want it to happen. So now we're gonna have to cut this. Okay, so you'll need a Sawzall. And right here, important that you read the instructions, Oh, here in the shadow, you still see it. It says two and a half inches from the hanger towards the rear of the vehicle. So let's get a tape measure. I'm gonna mark it and show you exactly where it's at. I will double check it myself because if you screw this up, you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so there is our two and a quarter. I marked it with tape to make it very visible for the camera so there's no confusion here. That is where you're cutting. You're gonna need a good metal blade I've had good results with these and a sawzall and for your fitting I like to use a high temp silicone and here's the problem with mine so I'll put a link in the description I'm gonna run the store and grab some I always use it on these joints because these kind of leak so if you just put a little silicone in here when you slip it on it'll give me enough time to make my adjustments do everything I need to do it'll cure and we'll have a leak free exhaust off to the store. All right, here goes nothing. Oh boy, I'm already in a bad position. Ugh. Okay, added some extra clearance right here and now we can get our blade in. So I'm trying to cut this as straight as possible. Okay, 
straight as possible, but you get it to stop moving. The hanger is kicking it crazy. little WD-40 up on that mount and get her off. All right, back from the store. Also got some oil. So let's get some silicone on this fitting. We'll get it on the pipe, loosely clamp it, and then hang our other muffler. And we are pretty much finished. And now we can <clears throat> tighten this up just a hair. Okay, everything looks great, but, 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 we have to modify something because this tip is sitting in further than this tip and there's nowhere to adjust this thing besides right here, which is great. But then there's also a hanger here and here. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the one up top where they welded it, this flange is hitting. So I measured from this crash, this rear crash bar support, that, that line to here is flush. And over here, that line to the muffler where this T is right here, it's about a half inch from the outside to here. So what we're gonna do now is unfortunately I have to take this back off because we just got everything lined up correctly and notch out this area right here on this flange just take a half inch just slide back and then everything should look great so let's get it done there's my solution right there cut a half inch off just one side of the flange and then i actually brought these little notches down a little bit further and let me show you why now And slide on like so see that notch that's where it was that's how far i can drop now and that's that's the adjustment that i need right here that's the position i need for to straighten that up but right there gives me my play to get my tips right so maybe after 20 for 21 these are in a different area i doubt it and all you need is a cutoff wheel to correct this problem not a big deal so now i will put the silicone back on and clamp it so learn from my mistakes actually you need to get this completely flush that way you have better adjustment to move this up and down or left and right if not it'll kind of landlock it finally got them straight i don't know if it shows in the video but boy it took a lot of effort to get these cans lined up straight um this side's pretty easy this is almost gonna be like your baseline from the top of the muffler to the top of the plastic or bottom of the plastic it's an inch and a half gap and that's what gives it a nice uh even spacing around it and boy we worked hard just to get that quarter to 16th ratio out of this side to get it toward that was an inch and a half as well as that one one thing that we use good lord i'm about to kill myself one thing we're about to use um this crash bar that silver painted corner right there when you come all the way back here you can actually see it probably not through the gopro's eyes um it's a really good reference to see the top of the muffler or the top of the exhaust tip to the chassis of the car you have to have fine 
you have to find something that's square to work with. If not, you'll just be chasing your tail. So besides that little notch to um, this coupler, everything else really bolted on pretty easy. I haven't ever had a slip on exhaust or axle back or any full exhaust or anything just go on easy without a little modification. So overall, I'm happy with it. I have seen a few of these installed actually, thinking back where one of them looked too far out. Maybe that's an issue that JBA needs to address. Maybe they watch this video. If so, fix it please, because it adds a little bit of aggravation. So I am now going to change the oil. And uh, quick note, plastic trans and plastic oil pan too. So weird. I mean, they do it for cooling, I know, but just kind of strange. So let's change the oil and then we will fire it up. So I am fully satisfied with this exhaust system. Uh, like I said, really no drone. When you get on it, just a little, little bump in the throttle. I'm in sport mode right now. I do have traffic in front of me. That was 3000 RPMs and it already sounds killer. And when you step on it, it roars, hopefully I'll get a little bit of open road here. There's so much traffic um, and let you hear it. So let's try to find some open road to run on. All right, we're coming up on an area where I know I can run. I'm gonna let this truck go and create a gap. Also, good job on this transmission tuning. When you hit the brakes, it downshifts really good. Um, almost good enough to set you up if you were like downshifting to turn it's it's surprisingly good oh great there's like some kids skateboarding in the road well i'm about to send it so we'll have to get out the way <laughs> like no joke all right i'm a dad so i can't fully rip it so here we go, floor it. Oh yeah, so much better, just so much better. And a bump, Ugh. on the 22s, another light acceleration. Yeah, excellent choice for this um, SUV. Again, it's for my wife. It I drive it on the weekends every now and then, so yeah would the courses sound more extreme absolutely but for a family vehicle and you just want to give it a little more attitude this was definitely the right route so i definitely would recommend these mufflers um i've only I'm, i've had about 45 minutes of drive time on them uh, from interstate cruising through kind of ripping through traffic um yeah 10 out of 10 in my eyes highly recommend them the video helps smash that like button always appreciate it and i will see y'all next time as i avoid these terrible potholes in this construction all right guys see y'all